Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at an example where we increase the vertical effect of stress and then decrease it again in a um, normally consolidated soil. So, if I take us back to the diagram we developed in the very first video, so far we've seen along this line, we've seen along this line, we've seen a combination of this line and this line. So the final example we're going to do now is when we start up here and we come to a point of pre-consolidation stress and then we decrease to come up here. Okay, so we're coming up back up here. So down there and then back up. So that's the final example you guys could get. So the example we've got is a normally consolidated sample is initially at 50 kPa with a voids ratio of 0.9. We increase it to 200 kPa and then decrease it back to 50 kPa. We want to find the um, the final voids ratio given these compressive and reflective index. So let's draw what's going on as we always do. So we are initially at 50 kPa. So let's make this 50. We so 50 kPa. So 50 down here, and our voids ratio is 0.9. All right. We increase it to 200. So we're coming down here. It's said that it's a normally consolidated soil, so we don't need to worry about finding the pre-consolidated stress because it's told us that it's normally consolidated. So that's going to take us to 200. We don't know the voids ratio there, so let's call that E1. And then it said we're going to go back to 50. Okay. Now, once again, we know that we can only go down the normally consolidated line. We can never go up it. So it means that we're going to be going up the over-consolidated line. So we're going to be drawing a line with a different gradient. So we're going up here like that. So this is our path. That would be the pre-consolidated stress down there at 200 kPa. Okay. So this line, so this segment of the graph is once again taken from here back up, okay?